Why is fatherlessness still a growing issue in this country? In the 1960s, some well-meaning policies were put forth that ended up not doing so well. In fact, they actually incentivized single mother households. Specifically, in 1964, President Lyndon B. Johnson launched his Great Society, an initiative with the goal of beating poverty, reducing crime, and promoting equality in America. His welfare system was very generous, particularly for single mothers, but there was one rule that ruined it all, the man in the house rule, which essentially said that if you have a working or able-bodied man living in your house, we cannot help you. They even went as far as to send federal agents to these households to make sure that no man was living there. If I was a mom at the time, I would throw the man out of the house too to get that check. These things don't exactly promote marriage. This is exactly why we shouldn't judge policies based on their intentions, but actually on their results. And these results don't bode well.